Hello Titans! In this video we will see a common use case starting with an end user experience and then we will cover some of the project configurations to get you oriented with Titan Web. You are of course not expected to know everything that we will cover nor all of the configurations but this will help you connect the pieces taught along in the next videos. It is very important that you understand that Titan is a platform and that you can create your own processes involving any of your fields and objects. It does not have to be like our specific sample use case. This is just an example to help you understand how to use our platform. The use case we are going to see is a login protected portal allowing contacts to log in using their email, get a one-time verification code, and then manage cases and their details. I will log in here with my email. I will get an email with a six digit code. Now that we are logged in, we see our simple home page, which allows us to create a new case, view our personal details, and view details on existing cases. Please note that you could use whichever objects and fields you need, custom, standard, or managed packaged objects and fields, both for logging in, getting data from Salesforce, and pushing data back to Salesforce. Let's log a new case. I'll click the log a case button. You'll see that a modal window popped up with a few fields. Let's type our case subject. Sample new afternoon case. I'll pick a case type of billing. Notice that when I picked this case type, nothing changed. The layout remained the same. However, if I were to select the case type technical support, additional fields appear, product and engineering requisition number. I'll select the product and enter a sample engineering requisition number and we'll put in a description. Upload a file here, so let's do that. I will click on this link, I'll select a file from my desktop. I'll now click submit. When I click submit, a new case will be created with the information that we've entered. A file will be uploaded and associated to that case, and the case will be associated with our logged in contact and that contact's account. This is just an example use case. You can upload whatever information you need with whatever fields you need and your own process. The user receives a thank you message. This message can be customized. We'll go ahead and click continue. Let's move on. We will now navigate to the My Cases page. On this page, we can now see a table with our existing cases. The first one shown is the case that I just created. Previous cases that I've submitted are shown here in descending order. We can inline edit. We can search for our cases. And a very cool feature of this table is that we can see records related to the case, for example, files. I click this little arrow to expand the related list. And here we can see the file that I uploaded in the previous window. Let's move on and navigate to our My Details page. Here you can see we've got a stepper. In the first step, personal details of the logged in user, such as first name and last name. And the second step, contact information. On the first step, we've also got a checkbox to indicate that this is a company account. Notice how 
if we check this checkbox, a third step appears containing business information. So let's change our information a little bit. Hit next. We will be taken to the contact information. Let's update the email. Hit next again. We'll be taken to the business information where again we can make needed updates. Clicking on finish will update Salesforce, both our account and our contact. And we will get a message indicating that our details have been updated and we're redirected to the home page. This is our basic use case. And now let's see how this use case is built in the Titan Builder.